Recycled plastic materials developed at Rutgers may be on track to replace wood and concrete cross ties on some major railways. The Chinese National Railroad sent an engineering team here to learn more about the technology and just may jump on board. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The technical delegation from the Chinese rail system toured Rutgers Labs and other sites where they could see it for themselves. Recycled plastic lumber that may prove suitable for railroad cross ties, among many other applications. Current licensees Axion International and Micron Limited also took part, offering potential advantages in cost, durability, and environmental impact. This material is being evaluated for railway construction in Europe and India, as well as in the U.S. It's growing, and we're involved now with the large railways, uh, Burlington Northern, Santa Fe, Union Pacific, uh, Norfolk Southern, and, and so on. Rick Lehman is director of the Advanced Polymer Center. Principal investigator Tom Nosker and colleagues have been pushing the limits of plastic composites since the 1990s. One early demonstration was to build a plastic bridge in Horton State Forest. The lab continues to investigate new formulations and manufacturing techniques. Pound for pound, they say, this material, made essentially from waste, can be stronger than steel. But what are the downsides? And of course, when you're putting these very high heat value plastics into a dense shape, the, sh the subject naturally comes up, what about flammability? Um, so these materials, they're, they're much less flammable without th than you would expect, but yet it can happen. And so we've developed these coatings to essentially make these materials uh, non-combustible. It has materials that will extinguish and not support flames, but furthermore it also insulates the substrates and that gives uh, just many, many more hours of um, protection. Developed mainly to better equip the center's polymer materials for real-world construction projects, this coating has properties that others find interesting. Uh, we have a project, a program with the uh, uh, with the U.S. Army to provide this coating to various uh, packaging and storage boxes for munitions. Uh, it seems pretty obvious why you would want the inside of a munition box not to reach a certain high temperature, and this coating does a great, great job. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.